Each and every influencer is a meme expert now, creating videos about meme coins. How to buy them, how to trade them, how to click gems on bird eye to see all of the meme coins you actually need to buy right now. Watch this video till the end. For your own sake and interest, compare the alpha that you are getting. See for yourself how outperformance looks like in content as well. This small channel, this small piece of content giving you 99% of alpha in only 40 minutes watch time. Whilst hours of watch time of other meme coin content only lead you to be the exit liquidity. There will be a few winners in this race as it's always in life. And the noise is trying to misguide you. Stan, one more video about meme coins. I'm a serious investor. Sit down, take a pen and paper, listen, make your notes. After this video, you should know how to outperform 99% of the market with your crypto investing game. Freeing up 80% of the time, human psychology is the key to understand the market and play it right. We will go through why most of the market is wrong about meme coins, how to have an edge, how to outperform 99% of the market, not just with meme coins, but with all of the assets that you have there. We will go through several alpha tips that you will not hear anywhere else. And we will finalize with a great piece of information on human psychology, on why people were losing tens of millions of dollars at the end of the last cycle. True meme coin game and how to play it right, not to become an exit liquidity and lose your money. Because most of the stuff that people are covering out there is just to shift your attention, to pump their backs so they can take profits on you. We do have this very, very interesting view on the marketplace currently. Meme coins are a casino and just gambling. And you should be very, very careful. Let me actually show you something. Call me crazy. People are going to say, you know, fucking meme coins are gambling. It is gambling when you do it, not when I do it. All right. I know it's not humble, but at the end of the day. Shout out to Crash, the Warren Buffett of meme coins. I will explain in this video why he's saying 100% truth and how to play meme coins in the right way and not in a stupid gamble way that you hear about on the marketplace. The fact that the market still has mind frame that meme coins are a casino and just gambling, you should be very, very careful, is very, very bullish because it means that there is so much upside left yet. They don't understand market, general consensus of the market. They don't understand that these are most performing assets of previous cycle and they will be of this cycle as well. But I'm not talking about your Solana shitters. Only specific set of meme coins will actually outperform. You have to be very, very careful because all the noise on the marketplace, all these new people in this space that don't know what are they talking about, they're trying to misguide you. They're trying to dilute you. And most of them, they don't even understand why they're playing it wrongly in the first place. Following Elliott Wave Theory, this is how the assets move. We should be right now, we should be at the start of the wave three of the market. We just had this correction right here. The most bullish thing right now is to actually be buying blue chip meme coins that are showing great strength through the correction with the communities and actually be holding them, not treating them like meme coins, not treating them like quick 2x and selling after that. And I will explain my thesis fully. And you might ask, but why Stan? Everyone is saying that it's just gambling. It's just a casino. Nothing is going to actually come out of these things, right? Let me actually explain you the whole thesis. The main response is because 90% of liquidity in each narrative will flow into the top assets, into a few winners. This would happen last cycle. This will be happening this cycle as well. Let me show you an example. This is a recent garbage pre-sale token on base, Roost. 
whole Twitter was just screaming about it. And I know that people who actually sent money into pre-sale, they actually made some money. But then this thing just went to zero. And there were people who were selling their blue chip assets on base like Toshi and like Brett. We will talk about Brett in this video as well. And they were buying into this thing. And this is something that people are doing with their winners on different chains. They're taking profits, they're putting them into something that they think have better upside because the market cap is lower, right? But you have to understand what is the winner. You have to zoom out. You have to see the full picture as well. That's the worst thing at this stage of the market to actually trade in your winners into the losers. This garbage went to zero because the way pre-sales are structured, they don't work in the first place. If you are a developer of the meme token and you just made $6 million without doing anything, like launch this contract on base, do the website design, like the cost of this is $2,000 maximum. You already made 6 million bucks. What type of incentive do you actually have to continue with building up this garbage moving forward? It does not have narrative. It does not have anything. It was just pure pump and dump with people making money on the pre-sale and using exit liquidity of the influencers who are pumping up this garbage and using followers of the influencers on Twitter who were pumping up this garbage as exit liquidity. And imagine there are people, and I'm sure a lot of people like this are in the audience of this channel as well, that were selling the blue chip meme tokens in order to participate in this garbage. Maybe they missed the pre-sale, maybe they wanted to buy from the market, which resulted in them losing the funds, losing their positions in blue chip meme tokens they, that would be outperforming the shit out of every asset in this cycle and essentially entering this garbage. So, so crazy. One of the other examples I can share is with stacks. I am saying that stacks, we will be seeing stacks at 100 billion market cap this cycle. I first was calling stacks in my videos at around 1.3 bucks, if not even sooner. Here, one of the first videos about stacks two months ago. And the main reason why I'm bullish on this thing is because investors, institutions, people with like largest amount of money, like billionaires and things like that, they who are specifically working in the finance, they will not be putting money into the things that they don't understand. Like largest one of them is stacks, which is layer two of the whole thing. I want to share my thesis. I want you to understand the thought process as well. Why this thing will actually be at $100 billion. Maybe because it's so great. Maybe because something very, very interesting happening there. Of course, something is happening there. The main thing is that I know that Bitcoin layer twos as a narrative, they will be pushed like crazy this cycle by like all the influencers that you actually watching, because most of them are actually invested privately in some of the projects, most of the projects that would be launching this cycle. Therefore, they would be talking about this narrative and they would be pumping this up. But we also know by the founder of Stacks, by his speech on Satoshi Roundtable, private event in Dubai, that before December of this year, Bitcoin layer twos and Bitcoin products, they were not able to fundraise any funds. They were not able to do anything. They were not able to start the development process because no one believed in the narrative. Which means that if fundraising started only from December of 2023, basically just four months ago, right? They did not have any time to build something of value and Stacks is five years ahead. Therefore, most of the stuff that would be launching on the marketplace is just garbage, just vaporware. It's even worse vaporware than 99 percent of the stuff in the crypto market. Therefore, over time, people would understand the same people who would invest into this thing. Over time, they would understand that this stuff is garbage. This stuff is not doing anything. And over time, they would be flooding into stacks, understanding that this is a blue chip asset. This is something that works. And Alpha play is to actually be getting into something like stacks at this stage and be able to sit through all these new launches, all these new projects, all this hype, all this retail genocide, just waiting till their money will eventually flood into blue chip assets. And the reason they are blue chip is because they just had five years head start. This is second and third order of consequences that you can actually figure out yourself for something like stacks 
And this is why I'm saying that Stacks is a part of my ultimate portfolio for this cycle. Just buy Stacks, forget about anything else. You might be asking, but why I'm telling you about Stacks in the meme coin video? Because the same thing will be happening with meme coins. All the liquidity in the meme coins will be sucked up by top 5, 10 meme coins of this cycle. How to actually figure out if something is a blue chip asset? Just follow the price action. You don't have to be smart. You just have to look at the chart. You just have to see if Bitcoin is moving down and the asset is not moving down that much. And the asset is recovering very, very well after the dip. That means that most likely it's a winning asset. And actually knowing winning assets this early in the cycle, we are only at the start of the wave three. It is the largest piece of alpha that you can only have at this stage because most of the garbage that will be launching, all these short-term influencers pump and dumps, liquidity from these things will eventually capitulate and be entering blue chip assets. You have endless opportunities to figure out what the top assets are. You don't have to guess. Market is telling you itself. Each correction is an opportunity and recovery after correction especially to understand what is the winning asset. Spotting winning meme coins early in this cycle and doubling down on them hard is the strategy that will provide the maximum returns and outperform 99.9% .9 of the market. If you are able to figure out meme coins at this stage that will be winning, that are winning already and actually work hard on increasing your allocation into these winning meme coins or into something that is capable of piggybacking these winning meme coins, that's the purest alpha play that you can only make at this stage. This what will actually help you to outperform 99.9% .9 of the market. All these short-term shitters, they will just work as redistributors of money from dumb people to smart people that created these meme coins in the first place. Meme coins market cap projections shut out to crash plus top meme coins of this cycle. Crash pretty much recently just had done a review of largest meme coins of the cycle and, and he also shared projections on the market cap of meme coins at the end of this cycle. I was saying in my videos that I do expect that we should be seeing overall market cap of crypto market at the top of this cycle at from 7 to 12 trillion market cap. There are different opinions on what share of the market cap meme coins should be. But in the last cycle, if you would ask regular people, do you know about crypto? What type of coins do you actually hold? They would say, yes, yes, I know about crypto. I hold Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. This is the only thing that they would have because they don't care about your paralyzed layer to move development language, all these things. They just don't care. All these things, they are to take money from smart people, from people who think they're smart, right? And they are participating in VCs pump and dumps and VCs constantly dumping on them, right? And for more simple people, we will have meme coins taking their money eventually. Crash is sharing conservative projection that 10% of the whole capitalization of the crypto market should be in meme coins. I tend to agree on this and I do think it actually would be a conservative projection. If we do actually project that the market cap of the whole crypto at the end of the cycle will be 10 trillion and 10% of this is going to go into meme coins, we do have around 1 trillion dollars to be distributed between meme coins. Do you think that these funds will be distributed into your Solana shitters? I don't think so. I think that top meme coins would eventually be winning. We definitely will have things from last cycle be on the marketplace because they're just safer and people would just be investing into them because they would believe that these assets that they went through the bear market, they're, therefore they're essentially stronger. I do believe that two winning meme coins of these cycles, the new ones, might be Pepe and Weef. We do also have Monk as a very interesting candidate at this stage, but let's see what will actually be happening with this one. I would say that Monk is definitely a dark horse at this stage. Speaking of Pepe and Weave, the logic there is very, very simple. I know some people are saying that, oh, we've just flipped Pepe and things like that. Weave main chain token, Soylana, did 20 axes from the lows. Ethereum just did 3 to 4 axes. Ethereum pretty much did not run yet. And still, Weave is just at the levels of Pepe at this stage. 
Let's see what's actually going to happen, but it's out of the question that these tokens, as tokens of their ecosystems, they will be outperforming the main chain tokens each and every time. We've outperformed Solana, Pepe outperformed Ethereum, and we'll continue to do that as well. Mock will also continue to outperform Ethereum. And now we have to think about derivatives and we have to think about metas, right? Because we definitely see that we have dog meta right now. Doge is a dog, Shiba is a dog, Flock is a dog, Weef is essentially a dog as well. I do believe we should be seeing Pepe meta as well and all the blue chips Pepe derivatives. I think that Brad and Boba will be doing very, very well. We do still have some lower caps Pepe derivatives that I think actually hold the largest upside at this stage. And, and we'll be doing very, very well because none of the meme coins that you actually have on the market will actually be able to piggyback $40 billion meme coin. And it's conservative estimate for Pepe, right? Let's say we'll have 250 billion market cap in Dodge. Let's say with SHIB we'll be reaching something around 60 billion. With Flokim, 30 billion, right? Pepe, well, 100 billion is definitely an optimistic estimate. We can, we can do like 80 billion at this stage with like 60 billion, right? Mog Dark Horse like 20 billion if it's going to do like well. Brett and Boba should also be doing quite well because they are largest meme coins that are piggybacking Pepe at this stage, right? We also have some things like Politify, right? We have Maga Trump, we have Boden, which is the generate meta, we have Tramp as well and things like that. They should also be sucking up liquidity, up to 5 billion and things like that. The issue with these tokens though, the issue is politify is that they are not long-term meme tokens right because because i was checking out the interview with someone who is actually holding two percent of shiba inu supply in the last cycle he sold it at some point and at the tops that supply was worth a hundred million dollars and even three months before four months before it was at 40 million dollars a thought that I want to share is very, very counterintuitive, but I think it's the largest piece of alpha that you can only have at this stage. If you're holding a lot of the blue chip meme token, I think you might actually want to hold it through the cycle. Take some profits at the top, but hold at least 50% through the cycle as well. If you're holding a large chunk of top performing best meme coin, because it's high chance that this thing would essentially continue moving into the next cycle as well. It will probably underperform new meme tokens as well, but still, it might be doing very, very well next cycle as well. Something like Shiba, something like Floki, I think they will be doing quite well this cycle as well. Not outperforming all the new memes, but still showing some numbers. Following this thought process for these memes, we have like what? 300 400 billion market cap in total and the whole market cap for memes is still 1 trillion which basically means and shows that there is plenty of room left for other meme tokens and this estimates that it might be quite conservative as well i know it's insane it's crazy to see these type of numbers and it's actually crazy to calculate how many multipliers do you have with your tokens till these levels as well but we've seen Dogecoin at 90 billion market cap last cycle. The only two tokens that normies that retail had in the last cycle in crypto were Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, nothing else. They don't care about your utility. And the founders of your projects, most likely they don't care about utility as well. They're here to make money. You should understand this. One more time to finalize the reason I was showing this projection is to share this thought with you that 90% of liquidity will be coming two top memes of this cycle and top memes on chains as well if you think that certain chain will do well you might also want to get the token of this chain as well and if this top chain is an end game for people to actually pack the profits in if it's a chain capable of producing ultimate great ponzi's it might be a very very well and interesting opportunity to actually get into the meme token of this chain at this stage obviously if you believe into thesis i'm obviously talking about andy on blast moving forward private community increasing prices and seeds limit so 
This is something I have to say from my end. From 5th of April, we'll be increasing prices in the private community, although you still have an option to get in at 49 bucks at this stage. And I think if you'll be getting at 49 bucks, you would keep this price for at least some time as well. If you are an OG member of the community, which means that you were subscribed to Patreon at five bucks, OG subscription will be removed soon. So if you want to continue to receive the information and be in the community as well, you would have to subscribe at 49 bucks a month as well. If you are a free member of the private community, which means that you basically just have 100 bucks deposited on BitGet, we will also be removing these members from the private community as well. It's been a month, it was plenty of opportunities to make money in the community as well, and I was pretty much sending you free cash as well. I just want people to be focused on this thing. I want people to give at least a small, a small bit away just to be focused, just for the community to be active as well. So we will be removing this option, but you still have the option to jump in at 49 bucks. Seats are limited as well at this stage in order to basically have this price allocated after you for quite some time moving forward as well. Last but not least, if you actively trade on BitGet as my referral and if you are showing volumes, you will be able to stay in the private community for free. And on top of that, I would be doing weekly giveaways for people who are trading actively the most. Thank you very much for the support. Our community is about people actually talking to each other because other things, they just don't work. If Alpha is not being shared in the community by members of the community, if members of the community don't like to be with each other, don't like to share Alpha and communicate, it just simply does not work. Although we will be adding some things in the future, improving the quality of value of information that we're also sharing from our end. Thank you very much. Let's move on. Number five, how to spot winning assets. Hold on the corrections. Winning assets are in general holding very, very nice on the corrections. Fast recovery after corrections. You also have to understand what these things actually mean on the market because if the asset is holding on the correction, that means that people don't want to sell. That means that current holders of the asset, they don't understand the potential. They don't understand that this thing will most likely be moving up, that it's a winning asset, that therefore they don't want to take profits at this stage. If the asset is actually recovering nicely after the correction, and usually winning assets, they are not giving you the best price on the correction. They're not dipping too much, right? It means that people are willing to start buying out this asset at the higher levels because they think that it's a strong performing asset that will be making them money as well. And it's very interesting because once people start to buy out the asset on the correction, everyone else starts to feel huge FOMO. Therefore, they start to buy, buy, buy the asset as crazy. Therefore, it actually surges up even higher as well. Something that I think we just saw with stacks recently. Already done access, not dead, which means that your asset at this stage of the market, when we are entering stage three of the market, should have already done multipliers. Because if you are sitting in the asset that has not done multipliers yet, that might be not the best asset to actually sit in, right? And it's actually quite interesting and quite safe to be entering something that has done access during wave one. One of the examples is playable games. Playable games did like 10x in the wave one of gaming search. Right now it's on the correction. I was buying $75,000 worth of this asset at 005 price. Right now it's at 0036. I'm just waiting comfortably till gaming bull run will continue and till AVEX will be picked up as well. Until projects like Shrapnel, like Playable, like Domion Line will be surging as well because they are ultimate AVEX gaming better place. Strong community. Strong community is a result of everything above. So if your if your asset is holding on the corrections, if it has fast recovery, if, if it had done several access already, it generally just would mean that it also have a strong community as well. Crazy narrative. Piggybacking 40 billion meme token ideally or piggybacking winning ecosystem. So if you're buying some type of better place in the winning ecosystem, like for example, my example was playable or wolf, I do think that Alex should be showing numbers quite soon. Therefore, I'm buying into these assets. Something on Solana as well. If you were buying something like Pith, it's doing quite well because it's the better asset of the winning ecosystem. Something like original meme characters of Pepe, Brett, Wolf and Andy. 
right? Pepper will be surging. All these assets, they will also be receiving a lot of liquidity. Fortune memes connected to Pepper as well. Bobo, Mumu, Snibu, Dodo, they should also be doing well with Pepper essentially surging up. Blue chip meme coin should go through 80% deep, preferably multiple dips and continue growing. So this is something I would want to focus on specifically because it's very, very nice to actually be buying into a meme coin with a great narrative, with a great community once it's an 80% correction. And most of them, they're actually getting this correction because a lot of people, they're buying meme coins, they're gambling, right? They're not playing the game right. They are buying based on hype, based on some influencers, telling about some things and all the bad influencers that don't understand the narrative, don't understand meme coin game, they just got into meme coin by advice of someone, right? They would be looking to take their profits as well. They would be screaming about the tokens, but at a certain stage, they will be taking their profits as well. Influencers that are not great investors, they don't understand the narratives, right? They just buy into things because people add them into these private groups because of their reach, because of the marketing. They're just basically using the marketing skills to make money on the marketplace, right? All these people we call JITs, they should be living from these meme tokens, from blue chip meme tokens on the first dip. Therefore, most of the meme tokens, they're actually seeing 40, 50, 60, 70, 80% dips. And pure alpha is actually be buying into blue chip meme tokens on these dips. You obviously would have to understand that it's a blue chip meme token because in, mo because in most cases, it will probably be rugs. That actually connects strongly with my thesis around bread. I do think that Brad has a lot of influencers that really don't believe into Brad at this stage. They just got in, they don't understand meme coin game. So it, we might be surging higher. We might be going to 1 billion, to 2 billion, to 3 billion, which would mean that 50% correction would just put us from 3 billion to 1.5 billion. But I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for my 40% correction, 50% correction, 80% correction. Although we definitely had one, we had a correction from 450 million to 200 million. And people started to buy at 200 million, which means that we already had a change of hands, which means that market understands that the asset is strong, that it will, that it will probably continue to perform as well. From my point of view, I just think that my upside might be quite low at this stage if I would be entering at half a billion market cap. Therefore, I'm waiting for a correction. If it won't come, no worries, I will just piggyback other assets and maybe long bread on the correction somewhere down the road as well. Original team rocked ideally. So this is something you want to have with blue chip meme coins because if original developer rocked already, which means he does not have any tokens, that usually means that no one pretty much can rock because you would only have larger holders, community members, and distribution of tokens will be more fair, more even. But a lot of the blue chip tokens right now, they're actually being ran by the teams as well. So you need, you need to understand what type of psychology these teams actually have. Like what amount of money for these teams would actually be too large. So they would not be able to actually sustain with, with these funds and they would want to rock. But usually meme tokens that are community run are quite safe. Short term meme coin game. I believe this is something that market is playing mostly at this stage. Trading. Live new pairs every day, 14 hours a day. I think it's the best ROI activity this bull run if you're not selling winning assets right away, but hold them. Have to be a trader. This is the activity that you might be doing yourself. Meme coin traders are people who spend 12 to 14 hours a day sitting and checking out live pairs, which means they are focusing on new tokens that are actually being launched on Solana, on Ethereum, on Base, and they're making a decision based on this set of checks if this is the token that they would want to put some money into. The great part of the strategy is that they're actually buying things very, very early. Therefore, if they would win, if they would search up, they would be making crazy funds. Bad part of the strategy is that 90% of the time you will just get rocked because most of the live pairs, they unfortunately rocks in the first place. But I do think that if you actually would want to become a trader and trade these things, and if you have this type of time, I think it's one of the best and highest ROI activity on this market right now. Because right now you still have plenty of time to actually learn this. And moving forward, we should have pure craziness in this market. We should have way large amounts of liquidity than we have right now. Therefore, I think it's going to be a very, very lucrative type of activity moving further into the market 
as well. Second thing that people are doing, they are buying into blue chip memes and some of them not that blue chip, right? Before chain catalysts. Airdrops on chain, things that basically made Bonk a success, a bunch of airdrops, a bunch of free money on Solana. Events, uh, we have election. Um, for example, people are buying into Boden. People are buying into other memes around election as well. For example, we should have a boxing match with Mike Tyson and Jake Paul quite soon. Therefore, people are creating meme tokens and are kind of betting on this thing. And when we had rumors about the fight of Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg, there were also tokens created. I actually was, I think I was buying one of them as well. I think they rocked eventually. On average, for average investor, the best winning activity is buying and holding. Therefore, buying and holding blue chip mean tokens for the average market participant will still be the best strategy outperforming everything else. The hardest thing in the bull market is just do nothing. Just buy into a blue chip meme token and increase your position over time and be happy. One of the interesting tweets I wanted to share is a tweet from Alex Becker. The peak market cap of Doge in the last bull run was 90 billion. This is currently more than AI and gaming crypto combined. It's borderline reasonable to expect our two most likely first use cases of crypto can be at least 5x bigger than a single meme coin up. Very, very interesting take because I think that Alex does not understand that most performing assets are meme coins. Um, overall, and I think that Alex does not understand that gaming and AI, they are weaker memes than meme coins in the first place. Therefore, essentially, this comparison does make sense to a certain extent, but I am convinced that meme coins are going to be the best performing assets of this cycle, exactly the way they were best performing assets of the last cycle. And in general, Alex does not have to understand these things as well, because his edge on the marketplace is his YouTube channel and marketing skills as well. He is getting allocations in early projects, and then he is telling his audience to buy into these projects, selling on them eventually. This is his edge. And he does not have to understand all of these things about the market, about meme coins, about human psychology, about all the things that we are talking about, because his edge is definitive and it's very, very good as well. They pretty much just pumped gaming narrative in October and November into just Alex Becker and Elliot trades. Therefore, I think these guys are settled and they will be doing very, very well with their part of meme market, which is AI and gaming. Moving forward, one of the best alpha tips on this market that you can only have. And imagine you being exposed to this type of alpha so, so early in this cycle. It's so, so crazy. Alpha, pack your profits from meme coins, not into chain tokens, but into largest chain meme coin that is the safest. It will outperform the chain token anyways. It will outperform the chain token always. Next step for the strategy, pack all of your profits. That's what I'm planning to do with the next game, Leg Up. Take profits and pack them into meme coins. Gaming still underperforms memes. Because gaming and AI, they're essentially lower and weaker meme token part of the market than memes are themselves. And this is the comment that I've seen on Twitter on this piece of alpha because it was sitting in my head for quite some time. So my core on chain position has been to stack the native gas token to write for the bull run. I'm thinking of changing this to stack the on-chain leaders instead. So instead of stacking Sol and Ethereum, I'd be stacking Weef and Mock. I might do half to the leaders. I should have thought of this earlier, like GSR said, to go full risk on when things first flip. This was the thing to do in October, but I don't know if I'm going up the curve all the wrong time. We're still pre hauling maybe I can get away with it. Several important pieces of alpha that we're sharing on this channel as well. First, that early in this cycle, once the cycle is defined, and Matthew is saying about October, right? Early in the cycle, once you understand it's a bull market right away, you should play risk on. You should be entering most degen stuff, but that is showing the signs that it's a blue chip. And it's also a very, very interesting strategy to pack profits, not into the tokens of the chain, but into the best performing meme coins of the chain. So, for example, you have your portfolio of games on AVEX, right? And we will have a gaming leg up, we will have AVEX leg up. You are packing your profits not into AVEX, but you are packing your profits into Wolf or in Kokino, if you essentially would want some cock, right? If you are essentially a cock lover, right? You might say it's DGN, it's risky, it's meme coins, but it's pure outperformance on the marketplace. If these memes are blue chip, if the team won't track, so you are definitely taking on more profits. But at the same time, I would say that later in the cycle, you would be able to swap back 
or at least you would be able to take some of your funds and maybe put them into the native token of the chain and still keep some of the meme tokens because meme tokens on the chains they are outperforming the main asset on the chain and i was showing in the previous videos how wolf on avex is actually specifically following the actions the chart of the apex but it just outperforms it as a blue chip meme token on the chain plus it will be able to piggyback a hundred billion meme token pepe of this cycle therefore it's very very good interesting piece of strategy you have to be careful with these things you might call me insane it's so so risky you have to see these things if you want to outperform you have to see through these things moving forward second alpha making millionaires this market your best bet right now is to buy blue chip meme coins and increase your bags in them over time you need to focus on increasing your blue chip meme coins bags nothing else will be better than that it's great to diversify in one three narratives to be safe one three narratives i mean that maybe you want to buy some dog coins maybe you want to buy some puppet coins maybe you want to buy some coins around elections maybe you want to buy some cat coins so so you just want to diversify between different matters although diversification crypto is a scam because you want to diversify when you want to protect your money but in crypto we're looking to make money in the first place therefore diversification crypto is a scam moving forward meme coins is the last resort for everyone's profit it's pure human psychology you need to understand it blue chip meme coins are an ultimate play on human greed and psychology on being uncomfortable with larger amounts of money that the person cannot psychologically allow himself to have you think people were losing a hundred million dollars in luna crash last cycle because of luna no it was because they could not allow themselves psychologically to have it. Subconsciously, they felt they didn't deserve it and it was leading to self-sabotage and self-destruction. That's why DeFi Ponzi's are also so great at the end of the cycle. You play on the only reason behind the markets even existing in the first place, human psychology. And that's why Andy on Blast is so great. Andy on Blast is so great because we have short-term catalyst, the airdrop, we have crazy ass narrative piggybacking a hundred billion market cap token of this cycle right we have blue cheapness because of it because it went through 80 percent correction it did not rock team continued to work on it and community continued to stay active as well and because blast obviously it will depend heavily on the success of blast but i would say it would be very very dumb by blast team not to support andy on the chain because it's the purest blue chip meme token they can do so that they can onboard so so much people and they can onboard so many people into their DeFi ponzi's on chain with something like andy it's an ultimate entrance point pacman if you're watching this video be smart use andy i know you're a smart guy i know you're a smart team use andy to onboard a bunch of people into the ecosystem the same thing solana guys had done with bonk they were supporting bonk 100 percent the same thing, uh, the same thing Avex Foundation is doing as well. You will get the largest amount of users. You would get them for the cheapest possible user acquisition cost at the same time. And Andy is already connected to DeFi protocols on chain as well. Something like Yield. Therefore, through Andy, people will be entering all the DeFi protocols and all the play to earn games that you have on chain currently. I like Blast with the ability to yield Ethereum and yield stable coins natively on chain and all the different business models all the different products you can actually build on chain due to the whole thing having native yield in the first place i think it's so so bullish i think they might be doing very very well this cycle i think that even profits from something like base chain from all the retail all the normies it might be ending up on something like blessed obviously it's definitely a long time to actually see something like this we it's it's a bunch of work for the team as well but i think it's a very very interesting vision and it's a very very interesting thesis for blast as a chain as well and andy doing well but i believe that andy does not depend on the chain a lot as well just because of the crazy ass narrative in connection with pepe that it has and i think blast team are smart people they will pick up this narrative because i think they understand what solana guys had done with bonk what avex foundation is doing as well and what other chains are doing with their meme coins because meme coins 
they actually have great utility for the chains as well because they help to attract largest amount of people, largest amount of on-chain users with lowest user acquisition costs. I think a lot of them understand this already and I think the more we would be moving into the cycle, the more people would be understanding this as well. This is something I actually told you about back in December as well. Well, this is it for this video. Let's gamble. Actually, this is not the end because I prepared a list of blue chip meme tokens at this stage that you might want to start accumulating into your portfolio. But the video is already too long. If it will get a thousand likes, I will be publishing a video with blue chip meme tokens at this stage that you should actually start to accumulate right away. 228 members generate number 25, 5 squared. This one, oop, number 144, 12 squared. Interesting. If next number would also be something squared. No, 116. 116 is 50, 58, right? 58 is how much? 29, right? 29 times 4, right? All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will be seeing you in the next one. Just, just study this. Just study this and try to really understand this. Try to really, try to, try to really understand what crypto market is by itself and what human psychology will eventually bring people to doing eventually. Do you think that someone who is like hard maxi of the of the chain, like he likes tags too much? Or he likes Solana too much. Do you think they want to have like a bit of Welsh or Bonk or Weave in their portfolio? I don't think so. I think that's an ultimate tool for Maxis as well. That's why the meta of this cycle is very, very interesting. Having top meme coins of the top chains. And I think that founding teams of the chains that should be using it. Because as mentioned, that's the best, cheapest user acquisition strategy with you actually investing very very little to acquire all these users on the chain and they would be screaming about the chain they would be best affiliates as well they will be attracting as much people as they only can thank you very much see you tomorrow bye bye